Someone has decided now is the time to start doing some home improvements in the background when I'm recording. Fuck's sake. Alright people, how we doing? My name is Big Money and this here is One Ball Mega and we're back on our throne. We have just contracted yet another fucking disease because apparently everything has infection all over it, man. Someone's just been running about the wasteland, coughing, spluttering, and I don't know, jizzing all over mattresses or some shit because every time I go near a fucking bed, I end up with a disease, like every single fucking time. So I need to go and try and find myself some antibiotics again. There is one thing that I did remember after recording the last week's episode was that I forgot in the first place in the last three episodes to come around here and jump into this cellar that's just around the corner in Sanctuary. See if we'll get any interest in shit in here. A gold bar, ooh. A whole bunch of gold bars actually. Seriously, what, what, what is that? What are they doing upstairs, man? All right, it's gone, it's gone. Dog meat, it's gone. All right, now. I did leave you last week uh, and asked you what perk I should take and then ah shit and then as soon as I walked down here I could potentially just open this safe and that would be me sorted I would uh, I'd be able to, to just upgrade my lock picking but that would probably be a waste in the meantime I will get around to upgrading that but not right now there is more important shit that we need to be doing right now and that is of course getting Lone Wanderer because that's it's pretty much like one of the best perks in the fucking game. When adventuring without a companion, you take 15% less damage and carry weight increases by 50. Yes, please. For those of you that don't know, dog meat doesn't count. He, he doesn't count as a companion for some fucking reason. He's the only guy in the whole game that does that with, but um, yeah, if I just continually run around with dog meat, then I have more carry strength. All right, we need some water, we need some food, we need to get the fuck out of here, and we need to go and find ourselves some bloody antibiotics again. Although I did see Trash Can Carla hovering about a minute ago. I might need to see if I can catch up with her. First, we gotta cook all the shit we've got. All those damn red roaches and mole rats and dogs and shit that have been coming after me and trying to eat my one remaining ball. Rabbit dogs already got away with McGraw's other ball, but that was a whole different story before this whole nuclear apocalypse thing happened. That was just a bad trip to the park on a, a uh, one Sunday. But as you know, McGraw always wins. That's how we're gonna eat some dogs right now. Satisfied. Now, hold on, have you got another settlement for me to go to or something? Oh fuck, I need to actually say yes to this prick. Alright, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, mate. Ah! Good thing about being the last minute man is I don't have time for this shit, I'm dying of AIDS. Why am I just staring at him now? We've got to show people the minute man. <laughs> what was really that? Happen. What was that brief pause? All right, cool. Overland Station. That's fucking miles away, but we'll get around to that at some point. Is trash can Carla anywhere? Uh, I got this. In I need to make my way down to Diamond City. That I need to get to Diamond City because I don't have a steady flow of antibiotics and I don't have a, a doctor that I can go and see. Oh, I just had an idea. Now, if I go over like here-ish, where you can see that on the map, just go east. There is a, a little town called Covenant, and it's got its own little quest and shit. We can go and solve all that, but I think they have a doctor that I can go and see. So I'm just gonna make my way out that way, and maybe we might even bump across, uh, come across that random doctor that does travel the wasteland. But we need to get somewhere fucking fast. I don't know how McGraw's managed to do it, man, but he's uh, turned his uh, gonorrhea into full-blown AIDS. I don't know how you even make that jump, but apparently McGraw did it. We need to watch out, man. There's gunners down this way. Ah, oh, shit, there. There they are right there. It's looking nice though, look at that. Senpai, purify water. That's like the third time I've looted this fucking place. Oh shit, what is this though, man? Oh, it's a, a pipe sniper rifle. I already have a normal sniper rifle, but oh shit. My game just crashed. All right, back where we started. <laughs> Okay, third time's a charm. Hopefully this time it doesn't fucking crash on me because I just literally removed every single mod that I had. It just seems that every time I try and fucking use them, the game just starts freaking out and it, I just can't play it. Like, it was a mod to change- Oh, antibiotics! It- Alright, like, sixth time, uh, is the charm. That's what the- that's what the saying is. Great- great conversation there, Preston. Brilliant. Right, what- what- what, what, what do you want, dog? We're talking about this. What? Oh shit, there's anybody The dog found antibiotics! <laughs> the dog found antibiotics, what? Okay, saving it. Saving it right now. Even though I've still got the thing. Saving it. Sa get out of my bed, you fucking cow! No, get- get- Oh my god, see, I swear to god, see if it crashes, I'm going to fucking murder you, man. Go away. Get out of my bed. Get out of the bed. Yeah, get- get- 
Get out of the bed. Yeah, yeah. Save it for an hour. Okay. Okay, we have a save, and I have antibiotics. They're here. They're, they're here to stay. This has been a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> for fuck's sake, man. But if we are sorted, and we have everything, I need to head to whatever settlement he just told me to go to. Where does he want to? He wants me to go to Sunshine Tidings Coop, which is all the way down here. It's pushing me down in this sort of general direction. Now, I could move down here and uh, claim two different settlements. And then I could move all the way down through and make my way to Diamond City because we need to get to Diamond City. Once I get to Diamond City, then I've got some sort of like home base in the middle of the whole map and I can just go to Hangman's Alley and then I can sort myself out from there. Okay, we're fed. I've saved. I did all that, all that stupid shit. We got bottle caps. McGraw is, is happy, he's content for the, for the meantime, hopefully the game is content and doesn't decide to turn itself off for about the 8th time in the last 20 minutes. But I wouldn't really hold out, but at least I got antibiotics and a fucking save. I verified the game cache, so hopefully it fixed whatever the problem was, but I honestly am not confident that it has. Oh shit, we have bloat flies that have apparently detected- oh, 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 sun, 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 zigzagging. But these guys are- are a bit more uh, difficult to hit than I was anticipating. Okay, you, die. It didn't die, okay. Fucking die, you meek Come on. Oh, this is uh, automatic. I did not know that before I started fucking firing. These guys are proven to be a much bigger problem than they really have the only right to be. Okay, he's in pieces now. Dog, dog, eat it. Just eat the, eat the thing. For God's sake, dog, just bite the fucker. I think we're good now, though. I think... <laughs> I think the problem has been solved. I've never had so much trouble with a single bloat fly before, but apparently I was kind of struggling with that a little bit. <laughs> McGraw needs to build strength and he needs to build uh, power. There we go, one more kit head out and ready for the wasteland. All right, pow. What's happening? Just passing through. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here. Oh, I'm so scared from your shitey wee farm. Would you grow any dank shit? Mostly potatoes so far. Oh. We're starting on melons. Oh, I like melons. Melons are good. Uh, I missed that question. What? How long farming? That's a sentence. How about you? Ever think about working the land? Eh, uh, no, nah, fuck that shit, mate. If I was growing it, it'd be more of a herbal variety. <laughs> and those raiders hit us. My daughter Mary tried to stand up to him. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. She deserved it, that's a bit harsh. From what I've seen, nobody out here's got it easy. Yeah, no. well, that don't help us sleep any easier. I don't have <laughs> I'm fucking sorry. They took her locket, too. It's been in Connie's family. Oh, wait, is that that? Oh, shit. Get it back. Oh, right, okay. Hold on, way ahead of you here, pal. Yeah. I took care of some raiders earlier. I think I found the locket you're talking about. Yeah, mate. I already murdered every cunt up that way. You're, it, everything's good, mate. Well, that was surprisingly easy, and I, I, I didn't mean this at all, but all right then, pal. Well, I've just claimed this new settlement, just kind of by accident, but all right. Doug found something. Well, well, is it made antibiotics? Go on, Doug. Go, doggy, go, doggy, go. Wait, why did you lead me all the way around? It's a cat. It, you found a cat. Or do you mean the workshop? I know. I, I was standing right here when you... Fuck's sake, Doug. Oh, this woman's stuff, I'm just gonna take it. Let's press on. McGraw's got hunting to do. Bloat flies, which we've established are the, the, the hunters of the wasteland. Shite, I missed. There we go. All right then, still got a sneak attack, even though I, I tried twice. We got whiskey and a bunch of floating fags over here. All right, Doug, we found some good stuff. Think we should make our way up towards this wee factory hang up here. In fact, looking at my ammo situation at the moment, it's, uh, it's no great. It's really not great at all. So, <laughs> I should, I should do something about that, man. Let's see if she has any ammo that I can use. Connie. Connie, you get any bullets? Ugh. In the meantime, you. Come here. Give me your pocket money. Yes. You have three bullets. Fantastic. I'm glad I came back. Whoa, whoa, she looks like she was diving straight in there. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that man. There's been all sorts of diseases flying about. Usually run about my groin region. We've got sunshine tidings that we need to make our way down to. We've got this little factory over here that I'm gonna have a wee look in. Let's see what's happening over here. 
Come on, zombies. Come on, zombies. I know you're around here. I want to introduce you to my bat. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, no, oh, there he goes. Right, we found a few, few bullets. My bat is bloodied. Oh, shit. I think there is, yeah, there's one in there and there's some stuff in the back of there, but... Hold on, we do, go quick, go quick, go quick, go quick. He's dead. He is actually dead already. I ran in here for no reason. That's just a teddy bear and some building blocks. Do you got anything on you, pal? A dinner fork. Fantastic. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I need a doctor, man. I'm gonna end up, like, dying of radiation poisoning. Go, get in there fast. Get in there. Get, yeah. Okay. Okay, the tag team of me and the dog beat the shit out of zombies. Right, stim packs. Every time I see one of these first aid kits, I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping it's got some antibiotics in it. We need to get a little stockpile of them going. Once you get two or three sort of piled up, then you can start building a sort of little collection of antibiotics so you never really find yourself in a situation where you're desperately trying to find them. Who's this guy? Settler. Let's in here then. 10 millimeter pistols, no need for that. This is when we get a pistol out and we don't fuck around. There you are. See the only one? Open up, there's, there's more around. Just where are they? Gotta be honest, it was a wee bit disappointing coming up here. By the way, one thing I want to clarify when it comes to the build that I'm going for. McGraw is not a specialist. He, he is a, a jack of all trades and a master of none. He'll be running around, baseball batting the shit out of things one minute, and then he'll whip out the shotgun and start blasting with that. I'm not going to be totally, like, going after just being a melee character, or just a guns only, or any type of particular guns. I'm just going to see what I can find, and I'm going to try and level up everything as much as I can, and see what weapons are fun to use. So we got a wee terminal over here, though. Shut the fuck up. What have we got? Ooh, we have a Wicked Ship and Trailer Key. And yes. Grognat the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks penalty will do plus 5% damage. That'll help for the baseball bat. Dog meat and vodka. That's the, that's the diet of a, a wasteland warrior. Log entries. Check this message, right? What's happening then? Please, kids, remember that deliveries must go through Tim and me before driving out. It's mad important. Do not deliver straight to the client. Especially not before we change the papers. Do have me or Tim do a pass over the cargo and sign off. This is big guys, don't screw this up. Unless you want to end up like that last freaking idiot who delivered the full cargo and put our asses in hot water. This is boss man Blake. I'm guessing, is this boss man Blake right here? Nah, does, he doesn't look too much like a boss man. He looks more like a, a manky bastard. Where the fuck's boss man Blake? Is boss man Blake one of these uh, ghouls that's been cutting about around here? Well, yeah, he would be He'd be long dead by now if he was, if he was writing that shit back when uh, Boston was a real thing. Then uh, he'll either be a ghoul or, or very, very dead at this point. I got a key to a trailer. Is it this trailer? Maybe? Yeah! Alright, what's in here? We got a protect drone over there, so that might um, be a problem in a minute or two. Everything everything good? Ooh, ammo! Yeah! Ah, pipe weaponry. No one wants that shit. Right, let's continue on our merry way. That was only a sort of minor detour. See that those guys were smuggling some shit. And it really didn't go well, and now the fucking ice cream van's here, so yeah! Ice cream van! Everything's everything's been going really well with the, with the recording today. <laughs> that up there is where I'm going, so... I just need to battle my way around this fucking lake over here. I've only got myself a few rounds, but I might as well. Well, he's not. Well, stay, stay. That didn't work. It just went right through it. Oh shit! There's, there's something. Hello, mate. What are you doing? Meet the barrels of justice. You might have a go, mate. Oh. Fucking. I wasn't expecting more of the bastards. What? Did I hit the dog? I must have hit the dog there. I just. I just I got a hit marker, but nothing happened. McGraw is seriously underpowered at the moment, and we do. <laughs> I need to get him a bit stronger. I saw some, some barrels and some shit around here. What's this? A junkyard or something? Anything of worth in here? We have a uh, wonder going shit. Oh, I want to just back out, though, man. There's rats everywhere. Oh, I see potential mules ahead. Made you wee bastard. Where are you off to? Where are you going? Well, Mongrel. I got a sneak attack, surely, but 
for some reason he's not. No, oh, fucking Jesus, there's one over here too. And he's gone. Okay, that dog. Uh, dog me. Dog me, go. Fight to the death. Ah. Fight him to the death. Go on. Oh, eh. I'll just finish that one off there. Dog me, it clearly already won. Oh, who's this fucking guy? Who do you want, mate? Oh. Gingers, the gingers are coming. You saved my life. Did I? Please, take this. Just bow. Eh. Alright then. <laughs> Although, if he's walking around with 250 caps on him, does that mean he potentially has more caps on him? No, he has one more cap on him. I'm not even going to kill him because he's not worth the ammo. Plus, he has no soul anyway. And McGraw only reaps those with real souls. It was at this point that, that McGraw remembered that he is also Ginger. Right, okay, we're approaching the target. Sunshine Titans Coop. There's gonna be a bunch of ghouls just running this place and I need to uh, clear them out, get myself set, get it up and running and uh, all I'm really doing at the moment is just making a little chain of uh, settlements that go all the way from Sanctuary to Diamond City. That way we have a whole highway of settlements and then I can build them all up at the same time and we can end up with a full on raider camps on the go. And for those of you that have been saying, yep, it will be coming in the next couple months where McGraw will be going to Nuka World. What is my dog doing in the background over there? What? Dog mate, you okay, man? I think he's enjoying life out here in the wasteland a bit too much. But yeah, McGraw will be taking over the entirety of Nuka World. Once we take Nuka World, then we take the Commonwealth. Once we take the Commonwealth, we take the world. Or as much as Fallout 4 will let us take, we'll take it all. Where are you? I know you're in there. Oh. So. A shitey wee dad roach. All right then. Ah, this looks like the doctor's house. If I knew this was here, I would have came straight here when I was looking for antibiotics. But I would have still been disappointed because there's no antibiotics. But we found ourselves a bed, so I could probably just get a nice wee hour sleep. That way, I don't need to do all that shit again if something really atrocious happens in the next five minutes. We've had our squirrel bits for breakfast, and we're ready to take on sunshine titans. Right. Come on, there you are, you bastards. Get him. Right. Kneecap him. There it is. <laughs> Professor Goodfields is enjoying life a bit too much. Oh shit! <laughs> Kinda snuck up on me a wee bit there. Okay, we have two guys right here. I just noticed that they've been on my map for the last few minutes. Right. Go. Go. Oh shit, it just murdered me, man. Holy crap, I didn't know, <laughs> I went for the wrong one. <laughs> I didn't realize, oh, I didn't realize the one on uh, the right was so much more powerful than the one on the left. Okay, dog, sounds out saving was a really, really good idea. In that case, there is only one policy that really should be applied to you, and that's uh, just chuck Molotovs in through the window. Or, nope, okay, I fucked that up a wee bit. Let's try that again. Grenade through the window, I guess. Did that? Nope, that one didn't go through either. That's uh, I just I'm gonna I'm gonna load that. Oh, 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 I opened the door already. Shit. Oh, um, I'm just gonna let the dog kill you then. All right. Fuck it. I was gonna reload again there and get myself some more grenades, but you know what? Kneecap him instead. Come on. Come on, boys. Knees off. Okay, I blew his knees off, but he also died in the same uh, shot, so that was kind of redundant. Alright, no bother, dog mate. Settler here with a whole bunch of squirrel bits, and that's what's important. Not the fact that he clearly got fucking molested by a feral ghoul at some point in the near past. Oh, I never even noticed this. What have we got? Oh, we got lightweight metal chest piece. I think that would be actually a lot better than what I've been using recently, so let me just chuck that on and see how that looks. Yeah, leather chest piece is a piece of shit. Is this one? Yeah, wait, is it? we're looking a bit bulky. I mean, he looks like he's got man tits now, but if it stops the bullets, it stops the bullets. I got a couple more of them. We need to go and clear out this uh, dining hall again. Let's do this shit. Oh. Okay, apparently there's invisible walls in the middle of that table. Oh, oh, ha ha, I have a table. And a dog. Holy shit, that dog just absolutely destroyed him. Ah, yes. We've now claimed yet another base camp. Again, this this is just this this is just the beginning. 
Oh, we have ourselves a terminal. Alan, we finally sprung a slave from the squares of a Freedom Farm coop. A Mr. Handy from the Nadaville suburbs. The tin can wigged out trying to go back to slave owners, almost clawed the fuzz on this. So Johnny noodled it out and zonked his motivation protocols to just be. Now we will call him Professor Goodfeels. Just digging the world as it be. Owe nothing to nobody. Careful with his other protocols. These cans knuckle creeps if they go ape. Jackie boy. Alright, okay, so if you mess with them, they start losing their shit, apparently. I'm just gonna let them float around the place and just enjoy life. How are you doing that, mate? Dude! I don't have all the materials yet to, to do shit. So... Hello, mate. You still here? Oh, we gotta level up from that. Right, fuck it. I'm gonna get something that'll actually help me at this stage. And uh, just get another point of agility. I need more uh, action points, because I am running out of action points, like, way too often when I'm in the middle of firefights. So, now that we're here, usual. Drop all the shit and pick up the stuff that we need. Mainly the gold bars and money. Why is it directing me towards this? What does it want from me? Build and activate recruitment beacon. Ah, right, okay. Shit, so I need to actually do this, right? Okay, okay, game. Okay, I'll, I'll play along. I'll, I'll do it. It's gonna attract people and um, they're gonna show up and there's not gonna be much here. <laughs> but that's, the, that's up to them. If they want to show up, then they can show up. Right? That's on. And next time I go back to... Sanctuary, then I can just go and talk to Preston and he'll give me money and XP and all that good shit. Now, I can't remember how much stuff I've actually done since I last saved it. So, I I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get him a proper sleep, right? No pro, not a completely proper sleep, but a decent enough sleep. Six hours will do the job and it'll keep him going. I could build myself a, a new well, but I can't be asked. so we're just pressing on. Okay, next order of business is this camp over here. Now, there might be a few of them. I'm gonna take it out because it's right on my doorstep and we can't be having that. We can't be having just raider camps or gunner camps happening about 50 feet away from my uh, my super camp that's gonna be here. So, in the meantime, your head comes off. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Alright, hold, let's back up. There may be an RPG or two that's about to come flying my way. Need to try and be careful. There's uh, machine gun turrets and all sorts of shit apparently. Oh, I could just critical them, or I could just keep my eye on where they're going. There's somebody there. Shit. What is this person doing? Ah, get to fuck. Someone just took a shot at me. What's that you're holding there, pal? Oh, shit. No, 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 I just... Uh, okay. All right, I, I just... Maybe fighting them is not something that I want to do. <laughs> I am forgetting just how low-level McGraw really is just now. feel like if I tackle it right, it is possible to do, though. So maybe what's for the best is trying to, trying to sneak in downstairs over here. There we go. Machine gun turrets all over the fucking place. But if I can just get down here. Shotgun at the ready. They don't even know it's on its way. The McGraw man is coming. And apparently they don't even know. Oh shit, he's right there. He was he was right there the entire fucking time. This has gotta be a long adventure, dog meat. <laughs> really long adventure. Speaking of which, for some of you guys that were saying in the comment section of last week's uh, episode is that you would like this to be more than once a week. And I think it would work more than once a week, but I need to make sure enough people are, um, are on board with that. Just like I've said in the past, make sure you're liking the videos and stuff and I'll make sure to, to make what people want to see sort of thing. Now, I've never tried this thing before. I think I might try it now, just to see how this goes. So there we go. We have a flare. It's right on top of that thing, and no Minutemen are able to respond. Why? What? The Minutemen are fucking shite, by the way. Now I've just spoiled that guy's fucking nap. Well, let's spoil it even more. I missed. I fucking missed. I'll have a grenade, you dick. I missed again. Ah. If I see them, though, I'm criticaling them right in the face. 
No discussion. No warning. No mercy. McGraw takes him down in one fucking shot, right to the chin. Oh my god, I have no idea where they actually are. I might just sneak on by. I might just sneak on by. I think that's probably the best for right now. Oh, you don't want to fuck with this camp down here, though. Oh, I'm in some proper dangerous territory right now. <laughs> There's so many of them around here. Oh, oh. Well, mongrel. Mongrels we can handle. But we don't want to go attracting the attention of literally everyone by killing a couple of fucking mongrels. Okay, dogs. Everything's good. I won't kill yous if yous don't kill me. You stay where you are. And everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Everything's good. Everything's good. They're starting to come in this direction. This one here is thinking about it. He's, to he's totally thinking about it. It's next to next to dog meat though. I'm just gonna keep on walking. The dog's okay. Dog meat's doing some weird shit again. Maybe that's why the dog's not thinking better of. of <laughs> what are you doing, dog meat? <laughs> what the fuck? And he only moves when I move. Why is that? What is he doing? <laughs> okay, we've managed to just go around everything, and no one took a shot at me. I would have taken that place down, no problem. Obviously. If the Minutemen had shown up and not been complete pussies and, and not helped when they said they would specifically do that. Is that that guy? Nope, it's just a chair. Just a chair. Okay. This is our situation. We're, we're just needing to make our way down onto probably this road here and just make our way down into Diamond City that way. From what I remember, there is a massive fucking swamp down here though, so uh, we might need to be wary of that. What even is there up ahead? Nope, I need to see what this is. And I, I, I can't walk right past this. It, it looks undefended. So maybe it has good shit in it. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't look like it'll be much of an issue having a wee having a wee look. Hopefully no one shows up to murder me. And hopefully there's nothing here that will murder me as well. So McGraw needs to build his strength. We need to do it very slowly, very surely. Make sure we get everything sorted. And then we'll be able to take on the biggest threats of the Westland. But in the meantime. We're kind of getting our shit pushed in by the fucking everything, basically. Don't mess with gunners, man. Like, gun gunners are, um... Are kind of a, a bastard, nearly. Oh, shit, what, 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 what was that? It just said something. Attack dog. Ah, oh, shit, this is an ambush. This is a fucking ambush. Okay, this is bad. And I'm dead. Again. What the fuck was that noise? Okay, it, it was it was an ambush the entire time. There was someone waiting on me. And I think I'm gonna have to plan this out a little bit better. I just wanna get to Diamond City. If I could just maybe go around the outside, or would I be better off going back in towards the Corvega plant and stuff? Yeah, I feel like I'd probably be better off going that way. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna head back in east, because I think this here is supposed to be an indicator that you shouldn't go that way when you're a really low level. Even though the game kind of pushes you down in this direction, I think it's it's really intentional that it just puts a big gunner camp there to try and shuffle you back towards this way again. I'm getting like one and two shotted by random raiders that are ambushing me in petrol stations. Like that's how low level fucking McGraw is at this point here. And you get torn to shreds in survival mode so fucking quickly, man. Don't feed the bears. I don't feel like that's a good set. I, I, oh, what's this? Gunnar Mercenary in Dreth. What the fuck is this? Okay, let, let's make sure we get the Molotovs ready. Let's just have the Molotovs ready. If some shit goes down, everything dies. Are we are we good? Like you're marked in green. That can't that must be good, surely. Now who's this? You here to trade, boy? I don't like your tone. I will trade if that is what you if that's what you do. Let's say sure. Alright, let him through. Let him through. What? Are we are we doing the trade or, or what? I mean your bodyguards decided that now is the best time to just go to sleep. <laughs> Name's Dreth, that's all you need to know. Now, you buying? Yeah, I said this the first time. Ah oh, shit. She's got stuff. 
Right, I'm probably better off just taking some of these, like, random fucking things, herbal stimulants and all that shit at this point. Three oh eight 8 rounds, I could probably do with a few of those, although paying 90 caps for 10 bullets isn't exactly ideal. I'm, I'm gonna have to just accept that at this point. What can I sell you in return? How about... 4 billion 38 ammo bullets. You can pretty much just use them as currency in this game because they're fucking everywhere. Honestly guys, just treat 38 ammo as if it is just caps. Each one costs one cap and you always end up with fucking more than them, way more than you ever could need. So, uh, actually just give me all of that. I, I could just probably take most of, the, most of the ammo here that you're selling that is actually useful to me. It costs 60 caps for 10 millimeter, like 10 10 millimeter rounds. That is a total rip-off, man. Glow-sighted heavy pipe pistol. You know what? I'm just going to sell all these things I don't need. Flare gun? Do I need the flare gun? <laughs> Considering that no one shows if you fire it anyway. Oh, I've got I've got two wedding rings. Do I, do I need these? Do we really... Nah, we don't need these. Let's just get that to fuck. All right, okay. So, made a little bit more room. Is there any good stuff on you that I could use? Submachine gun? Again, I don't really need that. Since we're over by so much, let me just... I don't know, what, what, what's actually useful here? In fact, you know what? Give me those wedding rings back here, Robin Bastard. You're not getting those. Let's just... I don't even know who that is. Like, I've never seen that person before. I don't think. I don't know. There's some weird people out here in the fucking wasteland. See, yeah, th th this is the person that just sprung to mind there when I was thinking that. Is this not the cat person that sells cat food? When I say cat food, I mean literally cats as food. Do you, do you like cats by any chance, by the way? Let's see what you have. You can buy uh, three cat meat off of her. <laughs> Because that's what you want. Cat meat. Or a cat bowl. Any other cat accessories. This is your uh, cat accessory provider. What have you got in here? I, I can just take these? Are you okay with that? It's marked in green. And that's got a foot. So I'm going to take your stuff. If you're just going to let me take your stuff, I'm just going to take your stuff. And I can sleep in her bed and everything. Oh, look, man. Dog meat's thinking, do I want to eat this cat or not? Hmm. Well, what's, what's new? What's new? Tell me. What's... <coughs> Best scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. That's not really a bold claim, though. Anything been happening around here? If you don't mind, prefer to just talk shop. Why is it even uh, an option if you don't say anything? Not right now. See, right, here's the thing. I can, once I get back to the Corvega factory that I cleared out last week, the surrounding area of that should be a bit more manageable than around here. Like, it's geared towards early level players, and at the same time, I've already killed the majority of people out there. I just saw a dog. Yeah, there's a dog right there. What's this? Just a wild mongrel. Die, bitch. Ha! Ah. Oh, let's make sure it dies straight. And you. And you're gone. All right, wee man. Eat another pack of dogs. That's just a, that's a normal lunch for my girl. What's down here? We could train carriages. Ooh, power armor. Okay, so it's in here. Right, okay, hold on. Let me up. Advanced. Right, I'm gonna have to start putting some uh, hacking skills in lock picking skills because it's quite often I'm running into shit that I just can't get because I haven't put anything into those skills yet. All right, let's push on. But the only thing that matters is getting to Diamond City. Just getting there. Once we get there, then we can work out what we're doing. But just getting to Diamond City is the main concern. Because once I get over there, you can just go to the local hangman's alley and uh, claim that for yourself and, and you can build that out and turn that into basically your home base for all operations around the commonwealth. And any provisions that you need, they have a doctor, they have salesmen for guns and for any food or for any alcohol or scrap or just anything that you could possibly need. But now we're in uh, unexplored territory once we get past this Corvega factory here. I need to basically just head south and we'll probably see... Oh, I'm forgetting that you see dance and shit down there. Do I want to bother with dance? Question. What are people's thoughts on the Brotherhood of Steel? It would probably be useful to help... Oh, shit, I've started Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, shit. I, I wasn't really wanting to start it yet, game, but apparently that's what we're doing. In the short term, it would actually be useful to be in with the Brotherhood of Steel because... Then you can get transports around the place and just generally are able to, to play the game a bit more effectively. Damn, motherfucker! Yeah, we got another guy over here. Let's just blow his kneecaps out. There they go. Oh, guys up top making their way over. Nope, not no ammo. Right, take out his legs. Right, he's... Is he down? No, he's not down yet. Okay, he's down now. Kill him. 
No dog, don't die to him dog, yeah, there we go. The dog's been dying to like every single fucking fight that we get in, so uh, it's almost like some people were making the case in the comments last week that I should get rid of dog meat just simply because he is, is honestly tanking all of my fucking stim packs. Like I've used probably a few on myself, but he's used so, so many. Like I was only using a lot of stim packs when I was like fucking dying. Oh, right, what we got here? 10 millimeter auto pistol and nah, that's a load of shit. We don't need any of that stuff. Right, back out we go. Should I just make my way down here to do this fire support quest? Because I, I did that in my original and tell me, does anyone out here know what I'm talking about with this? Oh, a couple of random mongrels. Hey, you have that, you dicks. Oh, I missed. I, I completely missed. I need to throw an arc. <laughs> Is it just these two dogs just sitting here? Because it's kind of fucking weirding me out. There we go. Now tell me this in the comments down below, right? First time that I played through this game, I had this bug, right? I was playing survival mode and uh, it was already too late into the game before I could really fix it. I would have had to restart the game because of this bug if I really wanted this to work. But the whole this whole quest that I'm about to just... I'm going to go over and have a look at this. Why not? We well, might as well get a bit of action in here in this episode. Hopefully action where I, I win. <laughs> but I had this bug where after doing this initial part of the quest, I couldn't talk to dance he was stuck just saying the same line over and over and over again and i couldn't get the quest to start and as a result i wasn't able to do anything with the brotherhood of steel for the entirety of my survival playthrough dance was always stuck standing in the same spot where he is right now and you can hear him right now so let's get down there let's help him out but did anyone have that bug where you just couldn't play as brotherhood of steel because dance wouldn't come out of this little bug over here where you couldn't talk to him properly okay i don't want to fuck with all the, the the zombies up here instead i would rather just go down and do the mission can i can i jump can, yeah there we go okay let's get it now oh shit he's down Okay, okay, this is a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. This is, this is so much worse than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Well, my dog's getting ganged up on. Shit. Okay, dog, you're needing stem pack again. Fuck's sake. Godless heathens. They're, those used to be people, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, he missed me. Whoa, whoa, do you see the moves that guy just fucking pulled off there? Right, get yeah, Roma, Roma, take him down, take him down. Yeah, dance is gone. Ah. Get the Molotovs in. Okay, okay, there's 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 more there's more than I've been really caring to, to really deal with here. I, I I'm gonna end up dead. I'm gonna end up dead. Okay. This guy, you're about to lose your head, son. Is he dead? He dead he died. He Guys, guys! Oh my god! There's a lot of zombies down there. There was, there was more. There was more than I really remembered there being. So, shit! I'm on the way back here again. Um, I feel like we've learned something today. McGraw is not the destroyer of worlds that I'm really hoping he's going to become. He's not quite gotten there yet. And it might be a wee while yet before he really gets to that stage, because in the meantime, we're getting our shit pushed in from fucking everyone. So I want to put forward a motion. Would you guys like to see this series twice a week? If yes, then please do as much as you possibly can to like and share and spread out the series a little bit. Find some new viewers that do enjoy Fallout 4 and do enjoy the way that I do this, I don't know. Because I haven't really seen too many Fallout series um, done the way that I kind of edit my videos, so maybe it would be something new that people like Fallout 4 would really enjoy. So if you'd like to see this, then please help this video do as well as it possibly can by liking, sharing, and all that good shit. But until next time, I've been Big Money, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.